For all of NBA history, there has only been one man to have a triple digit game. While he may not be in the top of people's greatest of all time list, Wilt Chamberlain remains the only player in over 60 years to have a 100 point game. Despite this, Donovan Mitchell the other night became the first player since 2006 to score 71 points or over. The previous being when Kobe scored 81. In this season alone, even before February, there have been 13 players to score 50 points in a game. On top of this, they are starting to happen much more frequently between each other. While Kobe Bryant is the only player besides Wilt to be in the 80s for points per game, his 60 points or higher games were largely spaced out. Meanwhile, James Harden and Damian Lillard did theirs only a couple months apart in 2019 and 2020. So the question is, how long until Wilt Chamberlain's record is broken? Well, I sort of tricked you. Despite all of the high scoring games, there's a high probability Wilt's record will still never be broken. When Wilt Chamberlain made this monumental feat, each piece clicked into place. First, let's talk about offensive and defensive ratings back then compared to this season. Well, that's the thing. This season was so long ago, this data doesn't even exist. There is no defensive or offensive rating in 1962. However, thanks to StatMuse, we can see that teams were scoring upwards of 120 points on each other. I know I make a lot of statements about the fact that defense has declined in recent decades, but back then, there literally was no defense. On top of defensive ratings not being recorded, Blocks also weren't recorded until 10 years later. Because of this, the only two people that were really p playing defense were the greats of that era, Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Russell were always going neck to neck with each other, with Bill Russell winning MVP that season even with Wilt's 100 point game. And all the players with over 40 rebounds are just these two players. That also means that anytime Wilt wasn't playing Russell, his life was made a lot easier. On this night, Wilt was playing the Knicks, who held the worst record at this time, and also had players out playing against Wilt. This paved the easiest path for Wilt to score all night. As a further example of the lack of defense as well as Wilt's prowess, while I said this season there have already been 13 people with over 50, in 1962 there were 25 games with over 50 points. 19 of those were just Wilt. Even without the three point line, Wilt had 32 games above 60 points, while second place is Kobe with only Six. On top of this, Wilt was given far more opportunities to get 100 points. Wilt had the most field goal attempts out of any player. Once again, he averaged 50 points in a season even, while, even without the three point line. So people were willing to give him the ball as well as there wasn't much defense to stop him so he could freely shoot a lot of the time. Wilt also has the record for most rebounds a game which as you might guess, gives him a lot more shot attempts. Wilt's 100 point game was becoming more and more apparent as the night went on, which led people to pass him the ball more and more, and the crowd to start chanting to give Wilt the ball. Nowadays, your team may pass you the ball more to help your stat line, but the audience and your team may have mixed reactions. In this age of the internet, several people may congratulate you but an equal amount of people could also call you a ball hog or start to demean you. While the game is much different and has many more offensive opportunities like a three-point line, there are also many more defensive opportunities. 
We may have high scoring games where people hold their number up on a paper like 60 and 71, but no one will ever reach that gold number that Chamberlain once did. No one will ever score 100 points in a game ever again. It is a record, along with 55 rebounds in a game, that Wilt will hold for as long as the NBA lasts. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now.